we'll get started uh, with our warm up. So Frey Frey, I was just telling them that we're going to be doing some overhead pressing today. So just like a light to medium weight kettlebell or dumbbell. All right. All right. Head and neck. Looking up and down. Oh my gosh, my neck is so sore. I don't know why. Over here for 10. All right, bringing it back to center. Let's drop the ear to one shoulder. All right, let's stay on one side. Relax that opposite shoulder, turn the thumb out, and let's do half circles to the front. We'll go three, let's just, just do three on each side tonight. Good, all right, big arm circle. Change direction. Over 10. One more and then we're gonna open it front and back. Good. <clears throat> and let's open it to the side. Keep going, keep squeezing that glute to open the hip. Let's do one more on each side. All right, good. Bone arrows, arms out in front, pulling the elbow back, looking behind, reaching behind, five on each side. Getting that nice twist through the spine, all the way down to the feet. One more on each side. Good. Elbows. Let's go the other way. For our wrists tonight, let's put the palms together. So <laughs> pushing the heels of the hands together, keep those shoulders down away from the ears, and you're just going to drop the hands as far as you can while keeping those heels of the hands together, and then rotate the fingers down and back up. Keeping the heels of the hands together, don't let them come apart. All right, now on this one, let's hold this here and see if you can just bring the wrists up a little. So the fingers will still point towards the floor, but now it's just like you're almost pulsing the wrists up. You can hold it if you want. Good. Let's do some wrist circles. So just interlacing the fingers. Again, keeping the heels of the hands together or the wrists together. Circles in one direction and then the other. Good. Spinal roll down, tucking the head, rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Let the arms be heavy. When the fingers get to the floor, you're going to take a deep breath in and then roll up, keeping the knees soft, tucking the tailbone. Another one like that. This time when the hands get to the floor, we're walking them to one side, pushing into the floor, straightening the arms, 
The knees can stay soft or bent, or if you can straighten them, straighten them. Ooh, that feels good. Other side. <clears throat> so you can start with the knees bent, and then if you want, you can slowly straighten them or stay in one space. Back to center, slowly roll up. We're gonna move into our side bends. So reaching up, bending to one side, reaching that arm away, turning that armpit up towards the ceiling. All right, and then coming up, other side. Oh, yoy, I am tight. What did we do yesterday, guys? Oh my goodness. All right, bringing it down to the floor while relaxing head, neck, and shoulders. Taking a couple of deep breaths here. And then we're going to open it up. So if you're on your left foot, you're opening the left arm towards the ceiling. Right arm or right hand is on the floor. Coming down, going to the other side. So we just relax, head, neck, and shoulders first, getting that stretch through the back of the leg. And then we're going to open it up, other side. Bringing it down. We're going to hang out in the center, grabbing the elbows. And again, just letting gravity pull us down, relaxing head, neck, and shoulders. And you can sway side to side keeping the weight in the balls of your feet. Bringing it to a stop in the center, slowly rolling up. Big hip circles. Let's go the other way. Nice. Keep going. Last one. Good. Okay. Ankles. Big circles. So 10 in each direction, <clears throat> probably switch around now. And other side. Ooh. Change direction. All right, so uh, same prep work we saw last night. We're going to do our bear crawl forward and back. So from that downward dog position and our diagonal stretch, five on each side. <clears throat> so just a reminder from the down dog position, tailbone lifts way up, back is straight, arms are straight. You're going to start just by shifting that weight forward and back from the feet to the hands. And when you're ready, if you want, traveling forward, opposite arm, opposite foot. If you want to keep that like weight shift as you move forward and back, you can. Yeah. 
All right. Diagonal stretch, so feet starting under the hip, stepping one foot straight back, squeeze that glute, open the hip, both knees are bent, crossing the arm over to the opposite shoulder, reaching up and around, touching the back of the leg, keep squeezing the glute. Five on each side. Ooh, everything is crunchy. Sweet, good. Keep reaching, keep squeezing. Nice. So we'll do that again. Bear walk, 10 steps forward and back, and then there are diagonal stretch. So when you're ready, lift that tailbone. Good. Diagonal stretch. Maybe reaching a little back a little bit further. to get into the hips a little bit. We're going to just uh, do them standing. We're going to start with some hip arcs. So we're going to start moving forward. So what will happen is the leg is going to come out to the side, come to the front, and you're going to walk forward. Then the other one comes out and around. We're walking forward. So like, let's just do 10 steps forward and back. If you have to do five and five, five and five. So you notice when you're going back, knee comes up and around and back. So again, 10 and 10, or sorry, 10 total. Now we'll come bring it down to the floor. We're going to look at those shin boxes again. So we did them yesterday, but we're going to do them again. So we're going to start feet on the floor, knees bent, hands are behind you so that chest is open and your back is straight. Dropping the knees to one side. If it feels okay, you can let the arms go. And if then that feels okay, you're going to drive up. So we have a version of these in our conditioning set later. 
So just giving you a heads up. We're gonna get these nice and warm. Remember as you're going down, you're hinging those hips back, keeping that back as straight as you can. As your bum is getting close to the floor, you'll probably feel a nice stretch through the back of the hip into that glute. I don't know how many we're at. Let's just do one more on each side. Good. Okay, we're gonna stay on the floor for glute lifts. So hands are behind you. Again, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Keep that chest open, driving the hips up, driving the knees forward. For 10. Rolling over onto our belly, we're going to stretch the shoulder, so in that uh, <clears throat> scorpion stretch, so the arm is out to the side, pushing the arm into the floor, bringing the opposite foot behind, we're tapping behind us, doing about five of them, and then holding your last rep for two or three breaths. Keep pushing into the floor with that arm. Breathe. Release, and let's go to the other side. Arm up beside you. <clears throat> Taking that foot behind. Wow, all of these stretches feel good to me. All right, holding, if you're not already. All right, release. Let's bring it back to those shin boxes. And we're just gonna stay with this version since this is the one we're gonna be seeing later in our workout. When you're ready, let's do 10 on each side. I'm at 10 total, 10 total, sorry. Five on each side. Good. Glute lifts after that. Whew. We're getting there. Squeeze those shoulders together. Lift those hips. Okay. Oh, shoulders. Sorry. Uh, so this time instead of the arm straight up beside you, let's go up on an angle. Yeah, we'll do this one. So up on an angle. So around two o'clock, between one and two o'clock if we were on a clock. We're still pushing into the floor with that hand. Keeping that armpit down. So five little reps, and then holding the last one. Let's go to the other side. So again, arm up on an angle. Let's 
bring it to our feet. Just need to check one thing here. This little workout I have planned for us. Oh yeah, right. Okay. a kneeling press, a half kneeling press, and a bear hold with a row. So let's look at these two things separately. We're going to start with that kneeling press. Um, you can grab a light weight to test this out. <clears throat> so we're in this half kneeling position. Back toes are tucked. I'm really squeezing my glute here. Okay. So you'll feel that hip open, you'll feel a nice stretch through the front of the leg. And I'm pushing into the floor with my toes. So we're taking the hips and the legs out of the equation for this press. We're relying all on the shoulders, but we can still get the whole body involved by engaging the whole body. So we're going to squeeze our glute, we're going to make a fist, we're going to squeeze our arm. And we're going to just squeeze as much as we can to help move that weight overhead. If your left foot or your left knee is in front, we're going to hold the weight in the right. So we're going to do an opposite. So squeeze the glute, make a fist, pull those shoulders down away from the ears because lats, squeezing the glute, squeezing the lats for every single exercise. Then we push up, press up. So try a few on each side. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You can move up in weight as we go through this. We're going to do five rounds. That's good, Frey Frey. Yes, Thomas. Good. You, you good, Natalie? Good? Okay, cool. Now, as we go through these rounds, I might give you an option. I probably will give you an option. Um, if you want, if you know it, to add a windmill. So you'll do a press. Um, and then, no, actually, you're not going to do it because we're on the opposite. We're on the wrong side. Never mind. We're not going to do windmills. But what we will do, what we can do, is instead, if you want to add a twist, so you can do a press and then a twist. And you can twist in any direction. You can play with it and see if you want, okay? So those will be our presses, our half kneeling presses. We're going to work in 30 seconds, in a 30 second interval with a 15 second rest. I'm just going to get my other kettlebell for these rows. Um, so we can do the bear hold rows without any weight. So we're just coming into our bear hold position. So you're going to row one, arm up at a time, keeping that elbow in close. stabilizing through the hips. So that is option one, no weight. It's still very challenging. If you want to try to do it with a weight, you can, but even without the weight, like I said, it's challenging enough. So you're not as low in that bear, so you're, you're relying on the, the height of your kettlebell, but you're still going to try to keep that back as straight as you can. So you can choose your option. Any questions? No? Okay. Let's do this. Ready? 
right. So starting with those presses in 15 seconds. So like I said, starting with a lightweight and then moving up. Maybe we will even play with it. We'll play with, um, maybe on the next round, we'll put the weight in the opposite hand and you can just experience what it's like pressing with, with it on the opposite and with, and with it on the same side. Keep squeezing that glute, keep pushing into that floor with the back toes. Rest, other side. So depending on how bony your little knees are, you may need to double up that mat. Here we go. Squeeze the glutes, press into those toes. Make your fist. Good. All right. Air hold row with or without the weight. So um, you might want to keep your hands in close here, feet maybe a little bit wider, just to give you a bigger base. Keep that elbow in close, squeeze that shoulder blade at the top. All right, round two. So let's try it. Like I said, so if your left knee is in front this time, let's put the weight in the left arm. Tuck those back toes. Keep squeezing that glute. Nice. Other side. Here we go. Push into those back toes, squeeze the glute. Push into those toes as you take your hand off the floor. Okay. Press. If you want to move up in weight, now would be a good time. Let's do it the same way. So opposite. 
The left leg is in front, we're pressing with the right. If you're moving up in weight, you may not get as many reps. That's okay. I think I just went from 10 to 6. <laughs> rep, doesn't hurt to scan the body, make sure you're pushing into those toes, make sure you're squeezing those glutes, are your lats on, notice how you have to brace the abs to push that weight up, okay, rows, All right, here we go. You got it. Keep going. Left leg in front, pressing with the left arm. Yes. So you still have that option to add that twist if you want during the, these presses, but I find the pressing enough on its own. Got it. Yes, use that breath if you need to. Rose. Okay, last time. So you can choose whether you want to do opposite or same side. Up to you. I personally don't know if I notice much of a difference. <clears throat> Maybe if I had heavier weight would be able to notice a bigger difference. Oh, good job. 
Last time for these. Here we go. Squeeze those glutes. Push into those toes. Please you forget about them. There we go. Okay. Last time. It's a slow little burn. My oven is preheating. Here we go. Last time. Almost there. All right. Grab a quick little drink. Whew, catch your breath. dumbbell or kettlebell overhead. So you're coming into a nice strong overhead position where that weight is in line with your ear. So it's not way back here and it's not here. It should be in line with your ear. And you're going to march. One knee up at a time. So I mean, if you want to walk with this, I mean, you can walk with it. So how about that? So there's your option. If you want to walk with it, you can walk with it. If you don't have the room to walk, you can march. Okay, we're going to do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side. Man, don't underestimate a 30 second overhead hold. So choose your weight wisely. Start light. Um, and then if you want to maybe see about going up afterwards, you can. Okay, <clears throat> next. I promised you those shin boxes. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do a roll back to a shin box. So it looks like this. I'll break it down. <clears throat> so we roll back. And come up into our shin box. Other side. You're going to like this. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now go the other side. Good. Yeah, you'll get it. Do it again, Fry Fry. That's it. Yep. Yes. Now try the other side. Good. Yeah. You got it, Matt? <laughs> so like everything, you can use your training wheels here if you need to, if you need to use your hands, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, so that momentum as you're rolling back or forward, that, can, that will help propel you up, and that is totally okay. Um, we're gonna do squats. Actually, we're gonna do the marching, and then we're gonna do squats, and then we're gonna do those rolling shin boxes. I just got ahead of myself. So with the squats, if you have a weight, grab your weight, you'll hold it in this bottoms up position 
and we're just squatting as fast as you want. Yep, good. We're all good with that one. And then our last one is going to be, we got all kinds of rolling today. It's going to be a rollover push-up. So you're going to choose your push-up level, whether you're doing them from your knees or your toes. And it's just as it sounds. So we start on the floor. You do your push-up. So here I'm doing my push-up to my knees. Coming all the way back down to the floor. Boop, 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 boop. Roll. Push-up. I'm going to roll back the other way. Boop, boop, boop. You don't have to make those noises. Though. I, don't, I don't know what those noises are. Push-up. Roll. It's a good one. Push up, yeah. Yeah, so you're rolling, do one roll and then push up and then roll back the other way. Nice, Frey Frey. Good. Yeah. All right. So 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, four times. We're going to start with those marches. Remember, you're choosing a weight. I mean, you start, start modestly. We're starting in 15 seconds. So you can walk with it, or you can do a standing march. With the standing march, as you're bringing that knee up, it's arguably um, more abs. We have to concentrate here. So notice that stability, huh? As you switch from foot to foot. You really have to pay attention to that weight. Rest, other side. Pressing that weight up, up, up. Okay, <clears throat> squats. And remember from your bottoms up position. So push that weight up, keep that chest open, back straight. Feet are firmly connected to the floor. We're applying pressure evenly throughout the feet. Pushing those knees out as we squat. We're not going to let them cave in. All right. Roll back to shin box. Find one. And just like with our shin boxes in the warm up, squeezing that glute at the top. Yes. Good. Okay, roll over push up. up or the rollover doesn't really matter <sighs> okay. 
Keep those push-ups nice and strong, though. Okay. We're marching. Round two. Here we go. So much concentration. Rest. Let's go to the other side. Yeah. that weight out. Keep it up. A few more. Okay. Shin box. Here we go. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Don't forget. Ha! Okay, push ups. Here we go. Good job, guys. Other side. Yeah. 
Yes. Good. Nice. Squats. that chest up, don't run the back. Good. Couple more. Nice. Chin box. Should be feeling good now. Good. Okay, push ups. going. Okay, last round. <clears throat> All right, we got it. side. Last time. Here we go. Let me up as high as you can. Good. Sweet. Uh, squats. <coughs> I don't know, I think the squats might be the hard part tonight for me. Last time though. Here we go. Good. A few more reps. We're almost there. Good. Now, just the fun stuff. Here we go. 
Yeah. All right, so almost there. Keep rolling. Okay. This is it. Last 30 seconds. Stretch the shoulders. So bring the shoulders down away from the ears, just crossing the arm in front. Let's go to the other side. Stretch those triceps. So just sort of grabbing the elbow, reaching your other hand down your back. Other side. release. Let's come over onto our bum. So hands behind you. We're going to stay with the shoulders. So the closer your hands are here, the harder it's going to be. Your fingers are pointing away from you. You're going to push into your arms and your hands so that chest opens up. And then you're going to slide your bum away from your hands until you get that stretch through the shoulders and arms. So again, you can play with the distance of your hands. The closer they are, the harder it is. Good. And then walk your bum back towards your hands. Good. Coming over onto your side. Knees are bent. And knees are together. So knees are stacked. You're grabbing that top foot, squeezing this top glute, pushing that hip forward until you get that stretch. side. release. That is all I have for you tonight. Thank you.